Alright guys, let's jump straight into hair. I'm just combing it out because this is the hair that I had on New Year's Eve. I love this wig. It's from Sinosha Hair, if I'm pronouncing that right. It came in that bag. Here's all of your protective plastic and padding to make sure that the wig was safe. There's a brochure in here with the different textures that they have and how to care for your wig, okay? That is very important. And there were also wig caps in the bag. So I'm going to take my got to be glue spray and my T3 blow dryer. Come on, you guys know this. I link all of my favorite hair products below in my Amazon store. So I'm just going to push the wig back a little bit and put this spray right at my hairline and blow dry it for just a little bit till it gets tacky. Then I'm going to adhere the wig. So now I'm just combing through it because like I said, I've been wearing it. And as you guys can see, it's good and intact. So just comb through the hair, make sure there aren't any tangles or anything. So I'm going to take this Nairobi foam. I love this. I actually got it for $4, guys. Um, yeah, but I'm just putting this on here to make it lay flatter so I can see if my part is okay. I'm always off with that part, but I'm just going to do it the best I can. So this is my straightening comb I got from Amazon. It's in my Amazon favorites also in the hair section. I'm just going to comb through this to get this to lay as flat as possible. And your girl kept wanting to touch them. I might need to give me a glove before I burn my hand off. So I'm going to take my concealer, my face powder, and a flat brush. And I'm just going to open my part a little bit. I am starting out with the concealer. I'm just going to expand it because it was kind of tight, girl. We want it to look open. Open on up for mama, okay? And so... After I use the concealer, I always go in with my face powder um, and just set that concealer so it don't run. It still ran a little bit, but you can clean that up with like a black eyeshadow or something. Um, I didn't, but you can. You get me? You get me. All right. So I'm also going to put this face powder around the perimeters where I'm going to have my baby hair so it can look more skin-like and to disguise the lace and the knots. So I'm going to do my edges with this foam. I love doing my edges with this. It doesn't put a lot of gook in them and make them all crunchy and hard and, you know, that white stuff. And I'm going to take my edge comb, the foam, guys, and this edge comb. Edge comb will be linked below. All of it is in my Amazon store. So I don't want to keep saying that sounding repetitive. So just know all the hair tools that I used, everything is in that store. So this is what we have so far. This side is flatter and that one's not, obviously. So I'm just showing you how loud this hair is bummed. So I'm going to take my Kerouac stick and I just put that at the very top because I don't like to weigh the hair down. And that's going to tame my flyaways. So yeah, when I was out of town for New Year's Eve, even Nicole was like, dang, that's some pretty hair. Because it's just bouncy, show, showy. It's just bouncy, flowy, and has low sheen to it. It's just beautiful, guys. And it's long. It's long. It's like 24 to 26 inches. I will link it below. So check out the hair link below, and let's move straight into makeup. So I'm going to take this Estee Lauder concealer and mute out my lid. I already have nickel magnesia on my face as a primer, and girl, them brows are done. Thumbs up if you want to see a new brow routine because I did those brows with less than $5, okay? The products was less than $5. So I'm setting that concealer with the MAC Patrick Star Powder. Everything in this video will be linked below. Um, yeah, so this is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Black Liner. I think it's called Very Black, honey. I love it. So that's what I'm putting in my waterline and under my waterline. So I'm going to take the Glam by Sham brush set. I will link these brushes below. They are bum. You need these brushes. The whole entire set, you can get through a full face. They are so soft, and I love them. So I'm taking the Jackie Ina palette, okay? We're going to go on with this muted purple, pinkish color. 
Yeah, I can't see the names doing this voiceover, so I will link them below. Shame on me, right? So I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to put it as a Bravo highlight. Go light with this, go light. And I'm using this shadow brush from the Glam by Sham set, which will be linked below also. I use the fluffy blending brush to put the crease color in. I'm gonna take that fluffy blending brush and buff this out. No transitions. I mean, you wanna transition, no harsh lines. So I'm gonna take this matte purple with the smaller blending brush. It's not as fluffy as the one I used in my crease. And I'm just going in my outer V with this color. I'm gonna darken that in a few, but you're gonna see it. Home girl, slow down. We'll get there. We'll get there. So I'm going to take the Makeup Forever base. I don't know which one this is. It will be linked. You know that. And the concealer brush. And let's just go and carve that out. Let's go and do it. Wrong guy. Wrong guy, boo. Okay, so let's go. So I'm just putting this where I am going to put my main lid color so that it will pop. And I love these bases, guys. I love this whole look. I love this palette. I love these brushes. Support, support these women because... They showed out with these products. So now I'm going to take that chocolate brown brush and the smaller, no, chocolate brown shadow and the smaller blending brush and deepen that a little bit more. I wanted a little bit more depth. Is that okay with y'all? I want it to go deep, deep, deep. Ah, thumbs up if y'all know that sound, that song. So I'm going back in with the purple. Oh, y'all know I love purple, borny looking ass. <laughs> oh, no, for real, but for real. Put that purple right there we're gonna fade it we're gonna transition it then let's go in with this color right here okay let's go in with it oh it's like a muted lime green if that even exists it's gonna pull up gold in all my pictures and in this video but just know it's kind of greenish okay kind of mermaid it like mermaid ish like my background it's beautiful guys look at that and these colors are just blending for life i don't even have to do a lot of work so this is the Ofra Verify liquid liner, pen liner. I love this liner. Crazy part is I just love it on me. I don't like when I use it on clients. I don't know what the tea is with this. Is. I tried to use it on a client and it just wasn't coming out right, but it works perfect on me. So yeah, that's that. So I'm just winging it out. Gonna wing it out. Gonna wing it out. So I'm taking my Estee Lauder Double Wear, honey. And this brush from the Glam by Sham set. And look, this ain't my color. It's Sophia. I got it from my CCO for 40% off. So it's going to be my color today. But you're going to see how I'm going to make it work. It's not off. It's not as warm as I would like it. But it's getting the job done. And I got it for $22 instead of $48. I'll buy that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just blending it in with this brush. And you guys know I always, always go back in with a sponge and push it on into the skin you gotta push it on in there okay so we don't have any streaks and so to look airbrushed so i'm taking the la girl pro concealer of course and this brush out the glam by sham set and i'm blending this in under the eye just a little bit just a little bit i am gonna go in with my sponge i can't live my life without my sponge you know i could have made it happen with just the brushes but i'm addicted to the sponge you know what i mean you know what i mean so I'm just sponging it out. But girl, I let that dry. I let it dry. So I'm going to have to, you know, hit it with a shebang and do something different. So I'm going to blend it out a little bit more with that brush, add a little bit more color, and then take the Glam by Sham brush and buff that out because the sponge wasn't getting it for me. And we need this to look airbrushed and smooth. Okay? All right. Everybody say it with me. Smooth. Okay. So that's what I'm doing right here so now I'm gonna take the Patrick Star powder and set under the eye the nose the forehead and I am gonna set around my mouth I do not I repeat have this problem with the Estee Lauder double wear creasing around the mouth but all these other foundations I've been wearing so I got some more I crease right here so it's out of habit I'm just gonna set it anyway okay so that's why I love this Estee Lauder foundation. It's just bomb. It's just bomb to me. So this is another short shader brush, like an eyeshadow brush. I'm taking that, which one did I take, y'all? The purple color, the matte one. And I'm putting that under my eye. And here's my face powder. It's the Kat Von D Lock It Powder. And a fluffy brush out the set. And I'm just going to set this. 
it's gonna bring a little bit more warmth into my face I'm matching so this foundation is a go look at my chest look at my chest not my neck my neck is darker because I have PCOS so that's hyperpigmentation so we're matching my face and my body not my neck so yeah, I'm just buffing this in. Ooh, wee! This brush, this brush. So I'm gonna take a mist, a face mist, and my sponge, I could not get it out. And I'm gonna pat that powder away under my eye. I'm not gonna brush it off. We're gonna melt it. Hello, look at that melt, meltification. <laughs> Ooh, don't be hating, don't be hating. But yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm taking a CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer, of course. Honey, and another brush out the Glam by Sham set. And let's bronze this face. Ooh, bronze and snatch and contour. I want to look like I ain't ate in three days. <laughs> I want to look like I'm starving. Skinny, skinny. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Carving my face out around the perimeters, my forehead, my cheekbones. And you guys know we got to snatch that nose. So, I'm going to take that same exact brush I used to put that concealer in under my eye. And boom, boom, boom. Little snatchy, snatchy. <laughs> Dirty Plum from MAC. And this blush brush out the set. Pop that on your little cheekers. Hey, hey, little, hey, little baby. Just smile for them. Just smile. Pop it on your cheeks, okay? This is the Artist Couture Le Bronze. It's a Jackie Ina collaboration. And the fan brush out the Glam by Sham set. Oh, oh, girl. Where are you going after this? You gotta have a date, cause you're fine. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna put that on. Yeah, highlight the face, the cheeks, the nose, the forehead, just a little bit. I ain't gonna go in overkill with that. I'm gonna take this Pixie Diamond Dust and put that in my inner tear duct. Well, I already did, but girl, what are you doing with your eyes? So I'm just gonna put a little bit right there to open me up and give me a little boom, like just a little bit of bang. Like just a little bit of ooh, all right. So I'm gonna take a random brown liner, line my lips with that. It's gonna take me a minute. I don't even know why, but it is. And what I have been doing lately for my perfect nude lip, I love it. It just makes me look so refreshed and by boom and kind of like I got fillers a little bit. Is I've been lining exactly on my lip line, not overkill, exactly on it. So this is the Abi Dabi from NYX Lip Cream. That's what I'm doing right there. And I'm putting a little bit more of that liner in to get my lip shape back. And then I'm going to go in with Rodell Drive Lip Gloss from Ofra Cosmetics. Ooh, this is the sh I ain't going to cuss. I ain't going to cuss. But oh my gosh, Ofra Lip Gloss, sis. Mmm. 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 Mm. And this color right here, it's like a nude with like a gold in it, but not like too gold. But, oh. girl, don't they look good? Tell the truth. So, yeah, the hair is flat ironed. The makeup is on. We should pop in. But let me tell y'all, I always have this problem. Every single time I take that head scarf off, I'm like, what is going on with my baby hairs? So, wait a minute. I'm going to get my bronzer and my beauty blender and just pat, pat, pat up there because it's always a lot of demarcation or that line from where the scarf was. So, yeah, I guess when I get on my foundation, I just need to go ahead and take the scarf off. So, when I'm done with my makeup, I don't have this problem. But, yeah, that's what's going on there. So, I'm trying to fix it, a quick fix. And, uh, whoop. <laughs> and, uh, whoop. Look at her, y'all. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the final look hair and makeup. The hair is really, really long. Look at that. I know y'all saw me dropping it like it's hot on Instagram and Snapchat, and you saw it fell to my butt. Real flowy, real flowy. Love this. I will leave discount codes, all the details about the hair below the video. I will leave everything, the makeup, everything. Just click the description box, okay? Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe on your way out, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye! Good job, first.